Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host Zlot, and we are here today doing the Alpha 8 Experimental Series. So, I'm starting a new series. This will be Season 3 of the Alpha 8 Experimental. Um, release candidate. The first release candidate, anyway, dropped in... Um, apparently this will be the, um, there won't be any extra features, there won't be any major game changes, so the, the, there's just going to be some bugs and tweaks, bug fixes and tweaks uh, for probably the next release candidate, and then after that it's going to go into stable branch. So we only have a little bit of time left. And because of that, um, I got to get a scenario up and running on the server. Um, and I think we've, you know what, we, 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 we got, we saw some cool stuff in the last series. We saw some of the new changes. We saw the, uh, the new gear for the HV. We saw the new start so to speak, the new start experience. Um, and the previous series, we did the Robson Protocol. So this series, what I'm planning on doing, is I'm going to test out my custom scenario that I'm building for um, multiplayer. Now, I, I haven't built the entire thing yet. I've just got a framework of it going. So I'm going to jump in and, and start testing that in single player. And I think we can play through the single player until the, this is, I'm going to play this through probably till we go into um, stable. And then once we go into stable, I'll be flipping on the multiplayer server with the new scenario. So right now we're just going to use the framework scenario that I've got going so far. So let's do a new game. I'm gonna select my GTI scenario. Uh, it only gives us one starting location, regardless of what the seed is. It's always gonna be Zogdat. <laughs> That's just the way it is. Uh, I'm still gonna do the 2018 seed that I've been running. I don't know if that even makes a difference at this point, because the YAMLs are already pre-generated. Okay. Um, let's just call this the GTI test, GTI test, and this will be test one, name exists, did I already, okay, let's do GTI test two then, great, because I've already tried and failed, this, will, this is a closer, I think this will work better right now, um, this is almost not modified from the original. All it is is a little bit more resources for when it goes into multiplayer. And uh, I originally tried shrinking down the planet to a smaller size. I even generated the playfield from the playfield generator, brought it in, and I could load fine, but the visual graphics were screwed up. It's still all of the all of the stuff for the planet was at planet size 4 whereas the planet itself was a planet size 3 so it was all this train floating in the air type thing or, or like not train but like stuff like grass and plants and all that kind of stuff was actually floating in the air quite high because it was up at where yeah so I just flip that back to planet size 4 and we're going to go ahead with that no so, so the settings I'm going to match up with the server is going to be it is actually kind of medium everything except for hard enemies straight all the way along so hard base attack high drone presence high npc spawn and hard enemy difficulty uh, constructor craft speed though I set that to fast on both uh, these are set to true 
the amount of ore deposits is set to plenty and rich for the amount of ore per deposit. The rest is set on medium settings. So that'll give us fairly average progression, uh, lots of resources, fast construction, and hard enemies, which is, which is I think exactly how I want to play. So <laughs> I'm going to do that. Um, because realistically, the, this stuff does not add significantly to end game difficulty. This is what adds to end game difficulty. Okay, so let's do this. We're ready to go. So I'm going to bury all the boring mining and stuff like that. We're just going to load in now because this is a custom scenario and this is intended for multiplayer I didn't even bother um, getting any mission starting missions built or anything like that so Robson protocol won't run stuff like that uh, it also means that um, the, the gear loadout is non-existent it's just the basic gear loadout So, okay, here we go, Zotet, we're gonna check it out, we'll get water over here, oh, a little bit better sized lake, and more water beyond that, yeah, let's head this direction, I see a crash wreckage over here, let's head for that. So this is just going to be, I'll run this for a couple weeks until we go into Stable Branch. Once I run in, once we go into Stable Branch, I'll probably restart a series of the Stable Branch, which is the generic, um, default random scenario. Okay, so this is all we get. We're going to get the Robson Protocol, so this is the standard gear. Uh, so that means what we got to do is we got to make ourselves some equipment right away. So go into the survival constructor. We're going to make this survival tool. And you can see it's crafting speed helps a bit at the beginning, sure. But really, that is one of the game mechanics that only adds like grindiness to the game, in my opinion. Okay, let's, um, I'm going to go into third person just because I can see up and over a little bit higher and I can see resources. So we're going to go to this small wreckage and we're going to pick stuff along the way. I know there's rocks over there, but I want to get uh, as much ground covered too as possible and there's rocks over there so we'll, we'll, we'll get to rocks we'll get to it okay and what I should be doing is running and then uh, let's pick all this stuff pick it all level 2 so player progression is set to normal and I may do like an Iron Man test series too, but um, don't necessarily hold your breath on that. Oops, didn't, no, stop. Wait, I don't need another one. It won't stop, will it? <laughs> Whatever, they're free. Okay. Let's go into rock drill and we'll take this out. Pick up the resources. So everything's stamina based right now at the beginning of the game. Until you get gear that is in the stamina base. So right now the survival 
tool is stamina based and obviously all movement is stamina based okay so let's loot this thing wherever it's got some stuff right here by the look of it yeah, just what we need. Water and rotten stuff. Oh, some medicine though. Stomach pills, that's good. And yep, that's all good stuff. That's good stuff. I'm not going to complain about that. And we're already cooking? Wow. you got to be kidding me. Nope, not anymore. Okay. So we're almost at our heat threshold. Okay, so we need to keep heading towards the water then I'm thinking or else we could run into some heat problems yep yep keep smashing rocks what we really want to do is find the wreckage because that'll give us all of our um, initial gear survival constructor which is going to help a lot stuff that I can here. And which way should we go? We don't want to get too far from the... We, so the, the... I'll let you know a little secret. The YAML, because I was working on the, the scenario. I saw in the YAML that the wreckage spawns between 1500 and 2000 meters of the starting biome. It has nothing to do with um, basically your it has nothing to do with, with the, the pod. It's just the starting biome. So, But that's still a good spot to mark. I mean you mark your pod because it's in the starting biome, right? Why not? Wow, there's just major temperature changes just like five feet away from each other. Okay, we need to get some of these rocks at least. I was hoping there was going to be more food and stuff, a little bit of grain. But... That's kind of a bust. Oh well, there's some more green. Come on. Oh, I need, I need stuff. <laughs> I need resource stones at least. And let's mark this. And let's, we're going to head straight south until we get to about 2,000 meters from, the, from our marker that we just made. Starting to cool down in here a bit. Also need some wood. Might as well grab some right now. Going to defense mode with the survival tool. And, you know, by hand cranking the device, which takes stamina, we can build up the charge to cut down a tree. It's like the size of a logging truck. <laughs> We'll do it again with this one. You know, a, few, a few cranks in the hand. And... This is a spiky tree. And... More logs. There we go. Good stuff. So let's continue... 
we need to reveal as much as the map as possible within the first day. Uh, ideally, I need to find the wreckage within the first day. If I don't, I could be in, I could be in trouble. I could be in big trouble. And that would mean uh, I'm going to have to like contemplate take um, learning the like portable instructor, which I can't remember what level. I think it's level three. I'll have to look. I'll look in a bit. Right now, so the the, the focus in the first 24 hours is literally to do everything you can to get as much resources especially the three basic ores uh, i'm not going to worry at all about promethium right now i can run everything i need to at the beginning with with uh shadows were freaking me out a little bit um i can run everything i need to with biofuel so oh, oh yeah zap that was intelligent and we'll just leave him alone We'll leave him alone. How far are we from our... So, yeah, we're not even halfway. We're not even halfway to as far as what the wreckage is going to be. So we still got some... Some trekking. So I'll keep heading south. Seems to be a good lush... I wouldn't mind doing the forest during the day here. Because it's... It's easier to see in the forest during the day, obviously. So we'll keep heading south into the forest. And, you know, I'm out of stamina. So while we're running, what we can do is we can get our... We can get our... I'm going to trash that. We can get our energy bars going. That's a good idea. Let's do that. And let's take make some hot beverage. Got enough to make a hot beverage too, I think. Yep. Okay, good. Let's keep going. Get some of the smaller stones right now. They're a little, a little bit cheaper on the stamina. And a little quicker, and I don't need like a billion of them. I'm only going to need en enough to make a drill, hopefully. Come on, get off of it. Okay. So pick that while we see it, right? I'm also trying to get as much food stored up as possible. Preferably vegetables and plant protein because I can turn those into energy bars that have a really high... Um, Um, ex spoil rate so they don't spoil as fast as uh, as just the, the raw plant protein got some copper here so we'll definitely grab that and it's already starting to get a little bit dark any silicone at all yet but silicone's the cheapest to make out of stone so and like I say I'm just gonna need enough to make a drill hopefully so let's keep heading south oh, another rock I'm gonna go into first person so it doesn't swing the camera around so fast while I'm running Although it's not as easy to see, is it? You don't have the same field of vision. So, huh. Well, let's see how far we are. Oh yeah, we still got quite a ways to go here. So let's get these rocks that we see. Get all these rocks.
So the game has evolved quite a bit. The strategy for single player and multiplayer are definitely different for me now, I think. And I'll obviously be testing that coming up. I want to grab some of this stuff. I just, I know I'm running the wrong way. I'm running towards the escape pod and I should be running the other way. Just all the stuff was going, hey, come get me. Just that I'm trying to get as much XP too. I really want to hit fourth level by the time we do find some resources and get enough resources to uh, build some stuff. Fourth level is kind of the ideal. Oh, 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 oh. Copper. Wait, that means we might be getting close. rocks up here too. Those are going to be iron. Do we have anything that gives us energy? Stamina? Not much. More for the body temperature. And no stamina on those, but we do need to eat some. So let's do that. So we're at three minutes, or three hours I should say, until three game hours until darkness, but that's only halfway through the first day so we still got night to go before critters start spawning. So let's start heading, oh, silicone, oh, fairly decent sized one too, so that's good. Well let's just head over that direction. I'm I'm expecting to have the wreckage pop up any second now. Then. Yeah, we'll keep heading. Okay, and keep in mind, I did with the with the. Um, Yep, there it is, wreckage. Look at that. We're in straight, straight for it. Nice. No, it doesn't seem to be. Oh, yeah, I guess it will be. Although, that's the escape pod. Remember, it's the starter area is around anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 meters away from the starting area. So it says the YAML, and the YAML is the written word. Yeah, here we go. Now we're getting, now we're getting the stuff. Now we're getting it all. So let's, let's just get over there as fast as possible. Yeah, we're going to have, now you notice that two of everything spawned in. That is something I did. Uh, because this, like I say, this is going to have to accommodate multiplayer. And so a bunch of us are going to be starting at the same time, in the same spot. Fighting for resources is going to suck, so, you know, I just am giving it more resources, is all. It is what it is. Okay. Starving, starving your player base of resources does not bode well, trust me. There. Get some of this fiber, although it's all the fiber is super easy to get because you can make fiber from logs. So, yeah. And biofuel requires fiber to be built with. Unless they. I better check that. Oh, I don't have a survivor. I can't check that. I can't check that yet. Get up in here and see if they still have some gear here. Yep, 
Awesome. Okay, so we got our portable constructor. That's a huge thing right now. Huge. We've got copper. We've got iron. We don't have any silicone, but we do have crushed stone. Hmm. Not quite enough to make a silicone ingot, though. So we are to make, uh, yeah, to make silicone ingots. So let's smash some more stone really quick here. Some stone. Here. So now that we're, we know where everything is, we've got a survival constructor. It's not quite nighttime yet. I think we're on the right track here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're on the right track. So a multiplayer start for me is going to be a little bit different because of the the fact that other people on the server are going to build bases causing drone base attacks to occur, which means drones will be flying all over the frickin' place over my CV, too, so I'll have to, I'll have to potentially reevaluate my how I start on multiplayer. Okay. This last one here should give us what we need. It's a nice beefy one. Let's see. Well, let's get this last one. Okay, so what I need to be doing is put this down. We're going to get our stuff in it. And yes, we can do that. So that means we should be able to make a drill. Yes. Nice. Eat up most of our stone. I don't care. So that's really handy. You can turn stone using the portable constructor. You can't do it with your suit constructor, but you can do it with the portable constructor. And you can turn the stone into ore at the cost of 25 for one iron ore, 50 for one copper ore, and 15 for one silicone. So that's why I was able to do it with the silicone. So that's handy. I'll have a drill right away here, and I might as well get a bunch of biofuel going. Then I can get to drilling. And how we like on food, we're doing okay. Still lots of parish time on those. Good, good, good. Okay, almost. I'd say we're doing really good here. I like finding the wreck before nightfall and getting a jump on this stuff here, building the drill and getting some biofuel going is huge. Okay, we've almost got some gear that can get us lots of resources so we'll just leave this down here for now I can use the motorcycle to get around really quick if I need to come on do that okay so we'll we can at least get started on the drilling so we'll dig into this iron here Oh, what am I doing? I'm, I, yeah, I don't even need to go anywhere. My drone. Where did I? There it is. <laughs> like, where is my? Yeah, 
that's right there. I should be able to just drone it up. And we'll start digging into this and then I'll, uh, I'll... I'll just drill down until I hit it here. Just so I can show you guys what it looks like. And now this is a... 13 meter deep at 862 in size so that okay we're back we mined a bunch here so 73 ore here and I put a bunch into the constructor here so yeah we're doing good plus some ingots that we made we made a whole bunch more biofuel so let's move on um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave this here I think and I'm gonna continue to craft what should I make more biofuel right let's just crank that out and then we'll get at least a hundred ten we'll do twenty okay okay so while that's crafting up let's run over to another deposit so copper and silicone are over this way you know what, they're so, well, you know, you know what, we, we've got a motorbike on us, let's use it. We don't have a lot of precious time, you can see it's starting to count down now. So I want to get as much materials that I can before the critters come out. Ideally, I need to be able to spawn in my starter HV, which will allow me to continue mining after the critters come out. Let's turn our light back on, and we're going to drone this up. And I'm going to tab in and out just to get my uh, radar back there. I still don't know why you lose your radar when you first bring your drone out. It's kind of weird. As soon as you do anything, go into any of the other interfaces, you get it back. <laughs> so, okay, so we'll get down until we get to the silicone, just so that you can see what it looks like. That's not the silicone, that is stone, which is a lot harder to drill through. You can see that the sandy area went no problem then we hit the stone and it just flattened right out no so you got a hole you got to drill through the stone area a lot slower unfortunately but we are getting crushed stone which we kind of need up most of the crushed stone we had to make the silicone to make the drill okay so we should be starting to hit it pretty quick there it'll look like a silvery sheen to it it's very distinct it doesn't look like this it's similar except you'll see come on there we go there it's starting to reveal now so that's what the texture of the silicone now looks like if you haven't seen that yet i know it's dark it's it's dark it's night it's it is what it is okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna continue to drill this out and i will be right back Okay, we are back. Uh, we got a bunch of silicone now. We've got 150 silicone ore. So let's head on over to the copper here. Throw the dirt bike down, or the bike anyway. Um, notice that we are starting to get a little low on time. So we've got to keep an eye on that. I am totally aware of that. And a little, oh, and we're freezing so that could be an issue that could be a big issue hmm. Hmm. I have to go 
go over to this copper. Let's go get our, um, let's go get our gear. Go get our gear. our gear because we need stuff from it. Pick this up temporarily, turn our light on. Okay, so that is done because I'm picking you up. <laughs> okay. And actually, what I should look at then is, here, we'll pick this up. We need to unlock, we are level three, so we should be able to uh, go into here. We're gonna go into tools, is it tools? Yes, the detector. We're gonna unlock that. We're gonna unlock the mobile air conditioner. Um, not gonna worry too much about weapons right now tool we don't have any now do we actually have a ore scanner on us no don't necessarily need one quite yet it's not critical but what we do need to do is build that mobile air conditioner from our survival constructor on our suit so let's go ahead and do that we can oops I didn't need to eat that that's okay. That's okay. Um, so that's cooking. While that's cooking, let's head over to the copper. Because we'll have... We can do that. Come on. Right there. Even though that we're getting cold right now, the, well, the air conditioner should should be ready by the time we get over here so and that'll keep us warm or it should warmer warmish okay um do we need to put the constructor down and get keep going with this stuff I think so just group all that okay we need to cut some more wood really quick here so we can make some more biofuel I think we're, well we've got 12 I mean we're okay right now let's um let's just get this cook in here so that's we do Ten of those, we can do one of those, we can do ten of that, okay. Now our suit should finish, yep, here it is here. And we're close enough that we can just put this down here, and you can see our temperature now equalized. So we can just stand here, pop our drone out, and tab in tab out to get the temperature and everything back and we'll start drilling now I know a lot of people want to change the behavior of the drone quite a bit on what you can and cannot do with it and I agree I think um, it should be maybe a tiered progression that you have to unlock certain things like like um, the basic drill that you get right away maybe is level three and the only thing that can do maybe is um, I don't know construct use it for construction and repair uh, block removal multi-tooling and 
maybe higher level you can unlock an ability for it to use a drill so use different tools I don't know why I'm doing that because <laughs> I want sand I guess okay so here's the copper I'm gonna continue drilling this we've got just a few minutes left so that's really scary so I'm gonna drill this as quickly as possible and I'll be right back okay we are back we have Hundred twenty one ore, some ingots already, and then what did we have in here? All this. Okay, we are really running out on time now, so we've got a hustle. We've got a hustle. Let's pick this up. And we'll turn our shoulder light on. So I wanna find a spot to make a base. Let's you know what? There's water over here. Let's head. Let's go for this peninsula right here. I like the look of that. Whoa, uh, that doesn't look right. There. <laughs> okay, so escape pod there, new marker. Well, that's really close. That's good because we're we're getting dangerous on time here. near the starter biome. Well, let's see if we can find a, a flat area. Oh, there's a sandy area over there I see, I think, maybe. No. Ugh, there's not a flat area by the shore at all. Maybe over there a bit. Shall we attempt the cold water and see if we die right away? Come on, I got nothing in my hands. Just swim, you really. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, really? <laughs> That's ridiculous. There we go. Nope. Uh, uh, why does he jump? I'm just trying to get a... Yeah, 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 because because my guy's being an idiot. That's why I'm freaking not breathing. <sighs> okay. Running out of time. Come on, bike. Running out of time, running out of time. Time, time, time. Oh, no, no, no. See you later, bike. You're gone. <laughs> I don't think I can get you. Maybe. Let's try. Let's try. There, we'll do this. I'm gonna suffocate, aren't I? Yeah, let's let's not do that. Let's not do that. Let's not do it. The bike's gone. The bike's gone. <laughs> that sucks. Stupid frickin' steep water. <sighs> Man, OK, 
Okay, so there's not a lot of shallow areas here. We're going to have to... Ugh. This is not going to be ideal for me to build on. It's really not. I'm going to have to build it up and way out into the water. Oh my goodness. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. Maybe we can dig this out. We're really running out of time here. Yeah, I think we're going to have to just do it. We're going to have to do it here. We're going to have to build here. So let's do this. Let's get our stuff in here. Okay, and then we need to make a base starter. bunch of concrete blocks so we should be able to make a hundred from those 50 stone while it's doing that we'll go around and get some trees the ore is pretty close to me here. Come on. That was a weird noise. It sounded like footsteps when my uh, when my thing targets the ground for a second. 41 seconds. We're gonna whew, we're gonna be cutting it close here. down here get this place so we want to be facing this way okay drone it up just get down here Actually, I can't go too far because I won't be able to um, connect to it. So let's just dig into here. Wow, we're ru really running out of time. Watch, spiders are going to like spawn on me, aren't they? I bet. Okay, let's get this placed. Let's shove it in there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get back here. And that's pretty good there. We'll get these blocks up. Okay. And that's going to have to go much higher, so... Ugh. Higher than that. And... 
Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to do the... Whoop, 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 whoop. And connect base. Okay, so now... Before everything spawns on my head here, which is going to be any frickin' second. Let's get a fence going. This one's going to have to be a really small CV build on this platform, but that's just the way it is. So basically this time around I probably won't even build a garden, I'll just put a cockpit and some thrusters on it and get it, get it to a different location. That's probably what I'm going to do. Okay, so now let's get, come on, up like that, we'll put, oops, I am out of blocks, it's okay, we've, we're starting to get a line of sight thing going on here, and ooh, 21 blocks, that's not good, that's not good at all, hmm. I might be digging. <laughs> I might be digging for uh, blocks here. Digging for concrete. Okay, let's get. Let's get us some anti critter fence going. rocks let's oh why didn't I just use my <laughs> I can go like this I can actually use the can I use the the rock drill yeah yeah I can use the rock drill function of the survival tool with my drone so that's handy I'm gonna get some more crushed stone that way might be able to get some in the down here. Any rocks down here? Nope, been taxed. Lots of seaweed once I get a suit. It's a big rock here. Nice. This should do it, this big rock. Let's see. Hey, 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 come back! No, 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 no! Six. And what? That was it? So, oh no. Come on. And eight. Ugh. Well, you know what? It's gonna have to do for now. That should be able to be almost 50 blocks. So let's cue that up. 50. Some more of these placed here. Keep making our little fence. I gotta 
build it up really high there so that stuff doesn't climb down into it. Ugh. Okay, well we're we're getting there. We're getting there. There's another rock over here. A couple rocks. Let's get these. drone is so twitchy, I tell you. It's a great tool, but it's really... It's not the easiest thing to to use without it like twitching all over the place. Okay, let's get those in here. Okay. Crank more of those up. place it there. Come on, a little bit more before something spawns and kills me. Creatures will be spawning any second now. Any freaking second. Can they climb into here? It doesn't look like they should. They I don't think they'll be able to. this side. No. It's a little low there, but that's okay now. We'll just get some more line of sight blocking going on. those eventually it's just we, we don't have a lot of blocks right now we need we need a fence more than blocking line of sight we need to physically stop things from getting to us line of sight is great and all but if they can still path around your line of sight then you're screwed okay Okay, so let's get some more of this brewing then. So we need all of it, right? We need to uh, put that in there. It's only got two, so it's not going to use any. So let's just let's get as much as we can here. Okay. So as that spins up, we'll put the rest of these blocks in and call it an episode. And I will have to get some more concrete. Okay. There we go. I'm starting to feel a little a little better about my situation now. And yeah, any second stuff will start spawning. So really what I need to do is get the height of this right up there to block line of sight now. So we don't want like spitting bugs spawning at the top of that hill there and spitting down at me. 
That would just suck. Okay. Okay, that should help block. Get line of sight going, and we have water. They gotta get to me by going over the water. Okay, so that's gonna be a lot tougher for them to path. I think we're safe. I think we're safe for now. Okay, guys, well, I'm gonna call this an episode. I have a little bit of food on me. Um, Still got some unlock points, and I'm getting close to level four. Huh. I need more stone, so I'm gonna try and get some more stone off camera here really quick. I can just go, I can just basically drill down right here. I do need to level this off a little bit more. I mean, I guess I could do that, start just drilling this. Meh. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> well, guys, next episode, uh, I should have more of the platform built. And I'll have the ingots already cooked up in the um, factory so that we can spawn my blueprint of my new Alpha 8 survival hover vehicle starter survival hover vehicle and it seems to be working for me really good i'm i'm really happy with uh, the performance of it and you'll get to see that on next episode so until then you guys have yourselves an awesome awesome day <laughs>